back to my messy desk. Today I would like to walk through my 2019 planner with you. I decided this year to go along with uh, a new form of happy planner planning that I found online called transformer planning. Um, this I'm going to walk you through all the fun things with my new planner. However, I'm not calling it a transformer. I am calling it my Franken planner. So I've taken bits and pieces from here, there and everywhere in the uh, happy planner world and created my own happy planning monster. Yes, I love this thing. So I am going to break it down with you step by step what I've done and the different parts and pieces that I pulled from here and there and some of the things that I, I am still looking for to combine it to make it even more franken plannery. Is that a word? It is now. Um, so yeah, let's just go right ahead and jump right into it. This is actually the planner that I decided to get this year which is the She Designed a Life She Loved. And anybody who has watched any of my other planners through uh, the last couple years knows that I always love to put my initial here and monogram it to kind of give it that personal feel. So I did that as well. Now, these are not the rings that came with the planner. These are actually shoot because I have a couple extra. These are the rose gold metal expander discs that I got from Hobby Lobby. These are still absolutely worth it in whatever color you like. The metal expanders, I have the plastic expanders for the last two years and they're just so flimsy. And I don't know if they can actually hold up to the Franken planning that I've done here, but these metal discs, no matter how much you pay for them, they are very, very worth it. So, and I and I got and I got two extras. So maybe I'll make earrings. Yeah, planner earrings. Who knows? Watch this space. You never know what I'm going to create. Okay. So I got my metal expanders, and they're the rose gold, which I absolutely love. So she designed a life she loved. Now, when we open it up here, I got the plastic photo insert. Yes, it's me and my partner Brian um, at a Cubbies game. Woo, go Cubs! Um, Anyway, <laughs> I got these uh, photo sheets to put in here so that the first thing I see when I open up my planner is and are the people and things I love. So I've got us there and I got some of these cute little things here, which I'm going to add some more. And then this is my daughter and her family. And I'm going to put my son and his family in this one. And then I have other sons and other sons with families. So this whole little area right here are all going to be my kids and my grandchildren. And then I'm sure I'll put more pictures here. And then I have some other little journaling cards here. Just And I'll switch these out with the seasons just for shiggles because I like doing that. And then I have my folder that I stuff things in, of course, uh, at the beginning of each of my sections. And this one has a little clip that my friend Mary from Ugly Ducks Planning um, sent to me, which I absolutely love. So that's the first part of my Franken Planner is my little personal thing there. And then I come into my, what I'm calling is my scrapbook planner. So this is my scrapbook planner, the intro to this. I go and I have, uh, of course, my January to Glance. I love this. I absolutely love this one. This is probably going to make it to other planners in the future. But I love the peonies and I love this is this life is wonderful. I just, I love that. So then I switch it out and I did not decorate my month. In fact, I rarely do that. And you might see in a little bit why I don't do this. I did, I, I did it a couple times last year and I might do it a couple times this year. Not really sure, but we shall see. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to this week and show you my um, layout for this week, which is a really cute uh, planner uh, sticker set that I got a couple years ago, actually, from an Etsy shop. I will link it below because I don't remember it right off the top of my head. But with all the snow we had at the beginning of last week and the flurries through the most of the week and then the storm bearing down on the, on the uh, northeast, it just felt snowy, so I decided to go with this layout this week. Um, I pulled in some silver glitter washi to top it off and some 
other stickers being that Monday is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I couldn't really find a good MLK quote, but I found this one that um, I could see some see something that he might say if given the opportunity, but do what is right, not what is easy. So I, I did that, and then these are little puppets that I got from uh, Laura Jean, Laura Jane, excuse me. I will also add her shop uh, below as well. Um, these stickers, these other stickers, the yarn, the gavel, the grapefruit, the happy mail create, those all came from my shop. I will also link those below. Then I have my, my divider here. I have a pink one and I have a blue one. And since we are in winter, I'm going to use the blue. And then I have this meal plan. Now this is not fully filled out. Um, I'm not done with it yet, but I will have my full meal plan for the week. I am on a calorie restrictive diet, which is really working. I've actually lost 25 pounds since the first day of October. Thanks to my daughter, huge shout out to Rhian in there um, for reminding me what diet worked best for me. And uh, so I always, I, I'm keeping track of what I am going to eat, what I did eat, the calories I am go uh, that I have for the day and the calories I've spent for the day all the exercise, all that other stuff. So I take all that into account when I do my meal plan. So um, meal planning is huge for me this year. This is an insert I got from, and I'm gonna try to show you these as we go. This is part of the uh, have, uh, Healthy Hero pack. It is the meal plan inserts, or yeah, the Healthy Hero. Anyway, these are really great. I highly recommend them, especially if you're doing any kind of diet, whether it be keto, um, uh, paleo, calories, whatever. I highly recommend these. Even if you're just wanting to get on track and stay on track with your diet, I do recommend these. So that's what I have for these. And I fill these out as I'm uh, making my plan for the next week. And then I have my little grocery list on the back I can fill out as well. So now in this part are my scrapbook planner. And the reason is because I can decorate this part, right? It's fun, it's, it feels good, it's creative, it allows me to let my creative juices flow. I only do three months because of the thickness. I wanna make sure that I have enough room for everything. So when January is over, like next week, can you believe it? We're almost at the end of January. I will pull January out the whole month and then I will add March in behind. Oops, focus, there we go. I will add March, uh, April in behind March. So I will continuously stack as I go through the year, taking out the month that just finished and put it back in the other planner. Focus. So anyway, that is my, how I'm doing my scrapbook planner um, for the year. And when I'm done looking at my week at a glance here. I go to my Healthy Hero Planner. So I flip it over and voila. I love this cover. Absolutely love it. I did not monogram this one yet. I do have a couple um, in it here laying around that I have uh, to put here. I just haven't decided which one to put yet. So this will be monogrammed for my next plan with me. You'll see. So I opened my happy, my healthy hero up and I have some, some just at my fingertip stickers here in my front pocket, which this pocket came out of the, I'll get it here. Oh, I thought I was going to get it. I must have left that one in my office. I got this one out of my Healthy Hero edition. So this is like the expansion pack for the Healthy Hero. So I got this, this uh, folder here and the stickers. So I put this in the beginning, I put this little slip. Now I have the, um, the fitness tracker stickers. I have the regular and the minis and those are in my sticker organi organizer, which I will highlight in another video coming soon. So I have those here in the very beginning, and then I can stick other things in here, of course. I have not done my name here, which I still need to do. And then I will jump over to January and show you 
what I use this for. Now, of course, I, again, these but first grapefruit stickers are from my shop, which again, I'll link below. I do not drink coffee and I don't drink tea. I know it's crazy, but I don't do any caffeine at all. Um, instead, I use grapefruit in the morning. I have one grapefruit every morning. Uh, grapefruit is a metabolism booster. Uh, they even had a diet, which was called the grapefruit diet thing back in the late 80s, early 90s sometime. Anyway, I eat a grapefruit every morning and that gets, jump starts my metabolism and it, they taste good. A pink grapefruit, pink grapefruit. So what I do here is I jot down on the end of the uh, today block what I did for the day. My focus, which is usually going to be water or dropping my carbs or fat content or my sodium, whatever I'm having trouble with at that moment. Then my food log. Now I will write my calories in at the top for the end of the day. I'll look and see how many I'll write how many calories I ate for that full day. Um, and jot down any information um, on what I ate, why I ate it, whatever, through the food log. And then my exercise down here, I'll write whatever my exercise was for that day and or my step count. Now, whenever I weigh myself, which some people might gasp at this, but I weigh myself pretty much every morning. Um, if I see a difference in my weight, I will write it down also on the today. So, and I do that and then I can look back at the end of every week. Again, as with my other planner, when I'm done with January, I will take January out and slide April in behind March. Now with the Healthy Hero planner this year, they have this extras section, which will stay in my planner. I'll stick April here, but this will stay in my planner through the year. And this is a really cool addition that uh, Mamby did. I love this 30 day self care challenge. Um, this is something that I think you could do every month, you know, make this a challenge on a regular basis. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be laminating this and punching it and sticking it back in here to keep a look at throughout the entire year and maybe even stick it in my planner next year, especially if it doesn't come one, with one. Um, so this will stick with me. These are the 30 day work on pages, I guess. Um, a great way to jot down what you're working on for that day. Now I won't mark on this one since it's on the back of my um, challenge. So this one will not, I'll probably find something to put on there to block this out. But these are um, sheets that I will be jotting down, you know, what I'm working on or I'll write down up here what I'm working on and then how I did each day for my progress. I plan on starting this in February. Now, this planner only came with five of these, so it's like it only had enough for five months. So I'm really, really hoping that maybe comes out with an expansion that includes these, because the Healthy Hero expansion doesn't. Now, it only comes with plain paper, the sticker, the bookmark, the, um, the uh an extra little tab like this and then the full or no two folders excuse me so hopefully oh and then the stickers and clips of course hopefully they will come out with another expansion that will include more of these if not i'm gonna have to xerox them on heavy card stock punch them and put them in there because this is something i want to track for every month of the year this year and then something else i hope they do more of are these time to reflect sheets there's only six of them, so there's really, um, you know, if you want to do it one month at a time, there's still only enough for six months. So, um, hopefully they will hear this and do an expansion or an addition or extras for this, uh, the Healthy Hero, or, you know, some of us are just going to have to make copies and punch them in there. So, that is my Healthy Hero Planner. So, when I'm done tracking my health and my hero-ness, yeah, um, I will go to my business planner. Now, this is the cover that I've had for three years. Absolutely love this thing. And as you see, it's monogrammed. Um, it's your year. It's always your year. But this is my business planner. So, this is what I keep track of everything that needs to have a running list, um, to do's, all that stuff. This is the one that I keep track of. I open it up and then I have my folder in the in the front. I have a folder at the beginning of every section. 
and then I go to um, the section. Now this is the, I guess you could say the Franken part of my Franken planner. This is the section that I took bits and pieces from Heather and Jan and created a section. Uh, this, these came from the, from the Design to Fit Classic Planner. No, that's not the name of it. This is just the calendar extension, calendar extension pack. And it comes with um, undated extensions. It comes with all of these awesome things to do sheets, um, tabs, paper, monthly checklists. This is actually a really good expansion to have and I had to buy two and you'll see why in a minute. They only come out with like enough for six months at a time and it's like, hello, Mambi, there's 12 months in a year, but I digress. So I have my, my, my uh, divider here and this is for my to-do section. So I open it up and I have my to-do section. Now, yes, ignore all my to-do stuff. What I did was I took a plain sheet of uh, paper that you'll see here in just a few minutes and I used double-sided tape to tape it down so that you didn't see the month, the undated month that was on the back of this. So I created a tab, a blank tab, so to speak, I guess you could say for this. Now these to-do sheets, I use these to do my pre-weekly to-dos. Um, so what I'll do, oh, and here's my, this is my pink uh, dashboard where I have my blue one in the other section. So it's like my daily to-dos, and I, there's eight of these. So I think Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then things that can be done on any day of the week. So what I'll do is I will pre-plan here. Okay, well, I know Monday I have to do this, this, and this, and Thursday I have to do this, this, and this, and Saturday this, and, you know, I can gather it all here so that when I go to plan my or decorate my scrapbook planner I have my to do's here in front of me as well as on any little note sheets that I have stuck around you know Dr. Friday at two o'clock or something like that so that is basically what this is for and I keep a running check to mark off as I've done it through the week again there are not that many in here so I'm probably going to end up having to get more. And this also came from the um, six-month undated extension. So I'll either have to get more or do the same Xerox copy thing. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. And I absolutely have done it for two weeks, and I, I really like it, and it's working for me. Next is another section. As you see, I have these tabs have, <laughs> no, next month, my next session is not August. Um, I'm going to get a labeler or do something on my Cricut to uh, change the labels on these. So I'm using tab forms from every everything else that I've had in the past, just so that they, um, and I've got them so that they go in sequential order. And if I'm tripping over my words, I'm really, really sorry. So, my next section is my breakdown, my daily breakdown. This is not my business, this is personal breakdown. So, I will put the date down, my top priorities for the day. I love that it has an exercise and health section here and a place to jot the number of hours of sleep. Now, this is something I didn't mention in my health planner, but the numbers of hours I've slept, I'm going to also track those with my calories and my weight on a daily basis. Um, then I have my little water tracker here, you know, just to make sure because getting enough water is a huge thing for me. And then if I have anything I have to buy, important things like shower, new shower curtain liner, you know, things of that nature, I can jot those down other to-dos, and then my daily hourly breakdown. And again, this is not for business. This is personal tracking. So that's in that section. Oh, and this came with this regular paper expansion set, the Faith Warrior, Faith Warrior uh, trackers. And I actually got three of these because they weren't, sorry about the glare, they weren't out of these at Joann's when I found them. So 
I uh, grabbed three of them. Now, a lot of these trackers I did end up finding at Joanne. I looked for them at Michael's, but Michael's was almost stripped bare of anything Happy Planner at all. So the inserts I found at Joanne's, as well as the Healthy Hero Planner I found at Joanne's, but my regular 2019 planner I did find at Michael's. So I love the fact that Joanne's is starting to carry more um, Happy Planner things. That's a good thing. And so this section is all personal planning. This I pulled out from my health tracker from last year or the expansion from two years ago because I used the mini last year. So, and I just, I love it. I love the uh, saying there. And then I came in here and this is my brain dump section. And I only have a few pages because you don't need a whole lot at one given time for these. And as I finish one, I can file it in another one of my uh, old planners to keep track of my old ideas. And this came from another paper pack. This one is just a regular paper pack with no title or theme to it. But this is what it looks like. So this is for my brain dump section. And then I go to my next section, which another tab that I really love the quote you are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream love C.S. Lewis so I flip this open and this is another Franken section um, this is a month at a glance section I guess you could say and these sheets came out of the six month undated expansion as well or extension these are the checklists on the back here. And what I did was, as with the first section here in my planner, I took the tab out and then I double-sided tape all around it, punched and I ended up having to punch it again with my, uh, with my heavy planner puncher, but set it down on the um, tab so as to block out the month from the tab itself and then took the pages, because on the back of each of these pages is just a place to jot notes. So what I did was I took two of these, I took this page and this page and used the double-sided tape to stick them together, punch it again to make sure they were nice and eligible to go on these rings and made a new page. And they're a little extra thick and that's fine. It's definitely fine for me. And then I took the months from the undated, which the months are really cool. Oh, there, glare again. Sorry about the glare, guys. Took the months from the sticker sheet in the undated and put them on each month so that I can keep a track of the months as I go on this. Again, I only go up through March fully. So as January gets switched out, I will add the tab in to finish out for April. That way I can always plan ahead if I need to, so I can go in here to February and go, okay, this I have to get done in February and I need to focus on a couple of things and birthdays and checklists and things like that that I know in advance. That's why I try to do it two, uh, three to four months in advance on these tabs. So the next section here, I took a tab from July two years ago, make today the best day ever. And this is my business planner. So this is my business day breakdown, I guess you could say. And this came from, here we go, this one. This is unnamed as well. So, but it's a planner that looks like this and it's got brain dump and these dated um, and time sheets. Ah, glare again, dated and timed as well. So one side you've got brain dump and the other side you've got your tracker. So for business reasons, I have my th top three business priorities, my business list for the day, and then meetings and other things that I may have to do through the day that pertain to my work or business. I can break those down here. And there's this little section down here for gratitudes, which is really nice because when you're focusing on work, 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 business, 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 it's always nice to have something to look over and go, yes. I am grateful for puppies. So that section is for business uh, tracking. And my next section, put your heart into it. I love that. This is my pen pal and swap tracker. Now I will also add the link below, but 
I um, made these. These are going up in my shop um, to keep track of my swaps. And these pages, I'm not going to show you those pages because there's people's names and addresses. But this is the pen pal tracker that I got from Planner Madness Studio. Um, and again, I will put the link below so you can find these. And this is a great way for people that you um, swap with on a regular basis. Like I have some, um, I have someone that I do a regular swap with when it comes to pocket letters and things like that. I put their name, address, their birthday, the group I know them from, likes, dislikes, favorite colors, special notes, things like that. So that when I'm looking at making their next swap, I can reference back to this and this is really good with people that you grant wishes for on a regular basis somebody in your group that you like to swap with on a side this is a great thing to uh, use to keep track of those and then we come back down here to the back I love this today is the perfect day to be happy this is my budget so I have this I was going to laminate it but then I thought if I do that I won't be able to fill it in which would not be very smart. So I need to redo my monthly goal. I want to try to save at least $30 a month, a dollar a week. That is my minimum for every month. This will keep track of all of my savings through the year. And then I have my little monthly over here that keeps my month at a glance. And then keeping track of my bill pays, expense trackers, and so forth. And that, of course, comes out of the oh, Undated Budget Edition. So this is the Budget Insert um, Edition. So that's what these came out of. And then finally, my last little section back here is my Mod Podge section. I've been looking for the full pages of these project goal sheets that came with the Maker, the uh, Maker's Planner this year. And I have not found them. So, man, be happy planner people. If you're watching this, please, please, please do another, another like expansion pack with just these in the classic size. Um, these small ones are really tiny when you're doing like really big projects. Like when we do things like uh, beer and wine festivals and community-wide scavenger hunts, I kind of need more space than this. But these are just to get me by for now. And these came in the, I have them, I have them. This little, this little insert right here, and it is also a name. But they're project goal sheet papers, and they're literally size for the minis. So maybe again, these classic size, I have these. I keep at least one in there at all time. A blank one in there at all time um, in case I need to pull it out. And then I have some blank meal plan sheets here to pull out if I need at a at a drop of a dime. And then I have these little note um, sheets back here that came from the uh, undated monthly expansion. And I like how they have like these little month notes so I can even use these to look back and jot things down as a month in review and at the very end I have this another folder you can never have enough folders to stick things right that's what I'm saying and then it's back to my regular scrapbook planner happy happy scrapbook planner so this was a hopefully a fun detailed walkthrough of my planner for 2019 um and my franken planner i love that these again are the different expansions and sheets that i've used for all of the pieces parts in here and i will write a list of all of them below so that you can all see the different parts that went into creating my Franken planner. <laughs> so it was three planners into one perfect planner. And I have to say that finally, after looking and trying for three years, I have found my planners in. So I hope that you enjoyed this little walkthrough. Please leave your comments and make sure you like 
If you did like this, make sure that you subscribe to see my future videos. I will show other videos with Plan With Me's out of this, as well as some of my new sticker storage ideas for the sticker books that Mandy puts out. Also, I am asking for your help. I have found Planner Zen, but now I'm trying to find Pen Zen. If you have a favorite pen that you use for journaling and your planner, please comment below so that I can check it out and try a new pen. I am looking for my Pen Zen now. So, thank you again for watching and being loyal to my channel, and I will see you guys again really soon. Bye!